today we're going to show you how to test for a battery, um, uh, see if the battery's good or if it's the alternator. Uh, the other day when I went to work with this car, it drove there perfectly fine. When I got out eight hours later, it started really hard. She didn't turn over good. And uh, the next day when I brought her home and parked it, the next day I went to start it, she was dead. So I don't know if it's not charging or if the battery itself has gone bad. And the alternator is not coming on. The alternator light is not coming on in the cab. So I'm guessing the alternator is working fine. Um, so we'll just test it here really quick. Now this is a brand new tester that's never been used. It, um, I don't know what the name brand is on it. Oh, let's see. So it's got a battery load test. There's your directions right here, which connect the clamps to the battery terminals. Make sure they're on the right side, obviously. So we're going to connect the... The ground to the ground, positive to the positive. That's showing, if hopefully you can see, it's, uh, I can't fucking read it. 100%. It's at, um, it's a thousand, it's in, it's in the 10, 10.5. Oh. And if you put a load on it, it says good. Connect clamps to battery terminal. Battery must be at least 75% charged. It is. I had it on charge for two days, so I know it's fully charged. Um, locate the symbol on the meter with that little arrow. Press the load switch. After 10 seconds, read meter with load on. 10 seconds. Well, let's put a load on it and count to 10. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten. Ten seconds. She's still showing in the good. She's dropping, but it's still well in the good. And we're at 15, 20 seconds now. So we're going to let it go. And you can tell it's new. She smells. She got hot. All right, so that's showing that the battery is good. Well, let's start the car up. Let's see. That should be all right there. I'll right, we'll look see if I got the paper on that over there. That's if she'll start. All right, so we got that hooked. We're gonna start the car and see what the what it says on the load system. We're not going to start the car. So the battery's dead. Now I've had that battery on charge two days. It's been about 10 seconds. If you put a battery jumper on there, my jumper, does it start right up? I haven't tried that yet, but I got a jumper. I'd try that. Yeah, all right, let's just to see. Disconnect this here. You got the key on inside, maybe? No. Maybe. Tell me your battery's fucked. Yeah. Now, you think it's okay to hook that while it's running? I would think so. Alright, so, hopefully, this will tell us if the charging system is good. Oh, yeah, it's just charging. Ow! The sun is friggin' hot. <laughs> Yeah, she's over, it's like 15, 15 volts. Right so up. charging is good, so the battery is bad. So hopefully you can see there, uh, with the engine running, we're getting almost 15 volts charging. So uh, we know the uh, alternator is working perfectly fine. And also we had this battery on charge for two solid days. And as you saw, it's still not starting the car. So that's the one way you can determine whether it's your charging system or your battery. So in this particular case, we need a new battery, so we'll go ahead and get a battery, put one in here, and that should fix our problem. Well, thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back off for more videos. Don't forget to click on one of the videos here and the icon down the corner to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.